Love triangles of any kind often end with a shock for at least one of the people involved. These ladies added an extra element of surprise when they decided to follow their hearts and ditched their men for women. Anne Heche happily dated comedian and actor Steve Martin for two years. Then she met Ellen DeGeneres at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in 1997. She soon dumped Martin and embarked on a very public romance with DeGeneres, who famously came out as lesbian on her TV show Ellen a week later. The couple stayed together for three and a half years, and their 2000 split went down in celebrity infamy when Heche knocked on a stranger's door, made herself at home, and started talking about a spaceship. DeGeneres told Now Magazine that fame was behind the breakup, but hinted at other issues. If I weren't the most famous lesbian in the world, no one would notice, but everyone was watching us like we were the only lesbians on the planet. That alone made being together difficult. Eventually, the problems became too much to bear. She added that the breakup was one of the most awful moments in her life. Heche soon moved on to a man again, marrying Coley Lafoon in 2002. She told Barbara Walters on 2020, He's an extraordinary guy who actually embraces the same notion about sexuality that I do, which is that you love who you love. You fall in love with a person, not a sex. And he was not threatened at all because he understood that I could love a woman. Heche and her husband have a son, Homer, and later weathered a nasty divorce in 2007. Before she tied the knot with Ellen DeGeneres in 2008, Portia de Rossi had embarked on several relationships with men and married a man in the hopes of getting her green card to stay in the United States, though she never ended up getting one. She admitted, By the end of our first year together, despite my desire to be attracted to him, my latent fear of my real sexuality was simmering and about to boil. De Rossi later confessed on the conversation with Amanda Decadnit that her hesitancy about the topic of her sexuality was due to a simple reason. You know, I just didn't want to be gay, honestly. I just didn't want to be a lesbian. That changed when she met DeGeneres backstage at an awards show, prompting her to come out of the closet and get hitched four years later. Angelina Jolie met her former husband, Johnny Lee Miller, in 1995 when they filmed Hackers before the pair tied the knot. But in 1996, she met Japanese model Jenny Shimizu on the set of Foxfire and, according to the New York Daily News, the women hooked up numerous times during Jolie's marriage. Jolie divorced Miller in 1999 and pursued a full-fledged on-again, off-again relationship with Shimizu, telling Girlfriends magazine how quickly she fell for her co-star. I would have probably married Jenny if I hadn't married my first husband. The pair have obviously moved on but are reportedly still friends. Meredith Baxter was married to three different men before she came clean not just with her partners and the public, but with herself about her sexuality. In 1966, she married first husband Robert Louis Bush before they divorced in 1969. The Family Ties star married second husband, actor, and director David Burney in 1974. They had three children and divorced in 1989. She gave it a go a third time with screenwriter Michael Blodgett in 1995 before calling it quits in 2000. Years later, she admitted to Matt Lauer on Today that she deliberately chose men she was incompatible with as a means of explaining the splits later. When she first met now-wife Nancy Locke after her breakup from Blodgett, Baxter finally understood what happened. I, I got involved with someone I never expected to get involved with, and it was that kind of awakening. With that revelation, she was finally able to understand why she had such a difficult time connecting to the men in her past relationships. Sex and the City star Cynthia Nixon was with partner Danny Moses for 16 years before calling it quits in 2003. Shortly after, news broke that Nixon had a girlfriend, who later became her wife, education activist Christine Marinoni. Prior to meeting Christine, Nixon admitted to the New York Daily News in 2010 that she probably would have identified herself as bisexual, adding, But I had that point of view without ever having felt attracted to a woman. I had never met a woman I was attracted to before Christine. And maybe if I'd met her when I was 20, I would have fallen in love and only dated women. But maybe if I'd met her at 20, I wouldn't have responded at all. Who knows? In 2011, Marinoni gave birth to the couple's first child, Max, and in 2018 gave some details of their relationship to the New York Times, saying, I'm often more the wife. She's done some pretty big public things. I couldn't actually envision being happily married with kids. I thought, I'm never going to get that. I think it's amazing that I got that. It's huge. 
Tennis legend Billie Jean King was married for 21 years to Larry King, the sports promoter, not the talk show host. The pair married in 1965, but rumors began to circulate about Billie Jean's sexuality around 1980, when her former secretary, Marilyn Barnett, sued her and her husband for unlawfully evicting her from their Malibu residence after Billy and Barnett's affair had ended. Billie Jean came clean in 1981, admitting, I did have an affair with Marilyn Barnett. It has been over for quite some time. Larry was supportive through it all, and though they eventually divorced in 1987, they remained friends. King eventually came out of the closet officially in 2000. She lives with her longtime partner and fellow tennis pro, Ilana Kloss. When Amber Heard's marriage to Johnny Depp infamously went down in flames, rumors suggested that Heard's bisexuality may have played a role in the extremely messy and often disturbing breakup. Page Six reports that Depp and Heard often clashed over her friendship with photographer Io Tillett Wright, who Heard had reportedly moved into the couple's guest house against his wishes. However, Wright allegedly wasn't the only person Depp wasn't thrilled with Heard hanging around. Page Six reported in 2013 that Heard had ditched Depp for model Marie de Villepon and was still shacking up with ex-girlfriend Tazia Van Rie while they were together. After Heard ended her relationship with Depp, she moved on to tech entrepreneur and SpaceX founder Elon Musk, though the relationship only lasted a year. In January 2020, Us Weekly reported that Heard was allegedly getting friendly with cinematographer Bianca Booty, with a source claiming, Amber is not trying to be low-key about it. Lindsay Lohan has dated a slew of Hollywood men. One of those was hunky British TV personality Callum Best, whom she dumped in 2007 following an allegedly rocky relationship. Soon after the split, she hooked up with longtime girlfriend Samantha Ronson. The ladies had a notoriously tumultuous relationship. Lohan later denied being gay or bisexual, but admitted that the relationship with Ronson was toxic. She told Us Weekly in 2012, I was bold enough to say, yeah, I like a girl, and that put her in a situation where she was being attacked every day. That's not fair. And what am I left with? Heartbreak. That was three years ago. It was my last serious relationship. Fortunately, it sounds like things may have gotten better with time. What right. do you say on the show about we're it? We're friends than oh, you anything. Are? You are still well, friends? Well, yeah. Well, hmm. but we were always more fr like best friends. Lohan reportedly also hooked up with Courtney Semmel, the daughter of Yahoo! CEO Terry Semmel in 2006. The once volatile duo are reportedly friendly now, even attending a palace party together in 2012. Lohan was last linked to yet another tumultuous relationship with her ex-fiance, Russian business heir Igor Tarabasov in 2017. Comedian Wanda Sykes was married to Dave Hall from 1991 to 1998. After their split, she came out as a lesbian to her parents, which didn't go well, with Sykes telling Express about her mom's reaction in 2013. She just fell apart, fell apart and ended up not coming out here for my surgery because she was just that. I'm done with you. When Sykes married wife Alex Niedbalski in 2008, her parents didn't attend, but they're reportedly on better terms now. In 2009, Niedbalski gave birth to fraternal twins. Kids are like white, white. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like blonde hair, blue eyed. I'm, I'm talking frozen. Sykes has kept her sense of humor during all of this, joking with the Detroit News about how her life has changed over the years. Here I am, 51 years old, married to a French woman with two little white kids, twins. They're five, and here I am. I've become a minority in my own home. It's a cultural adjustment for Sykes, who also once joked that as happy as she is, there is nothing creepier than waking up and seeing two little white kids standing at the foot of your bed. Since finding stardom with Pretty Little Liars, Ashley Benson's love life found itself unable to avoid the tabloids. After relationships with a few actors, many thought Benson found the one in Justin Bieber's stylist, Ryan Good. However, after nearly three years of dating, the couple officially broke up in 2014, with a source telling Us Weekly at the time, they had issues, so they put the brakes on it. We don't assume to know what those issues were, but after almost a year of speculation, Benson and model actress Cara Delevingne officially came out as a couple on Instagram in the summer of 2019, with Delevingne telling Ned Aporte later that year, I'd never truly let anyone in before for a fear of them leaving. She's the first person that has said, you can't push me away. I'm going to be nice to you. I love you. Sadly, the pair split almost a year later. 
An insider cited by Life & Style claimed that the breakup wasn't all that surprising to their friends, suggesting that the Suicide Squad actress broke things off with Benson, who started dating g Easy the following month. In August 2020, Benson sparked engagement rumors after she was spotted by Page Six with the rapper and a diamond ring on that finger. Whether she likes it or not, Kristen Stewart will be forever linked to Robert Pattinson. That's just the way it is. Their nearly five-year relationship had a lot of ups and downs, but the Twilight stars finally broke up for good in 2013. Almost immediately, the Charlie's Angels actress began dating visual effects producer Alicia Cargyle. In an interview, Stewart told the New York Times, I would never talk about any of my relationships before, but once I started dating girls, it seemed like there was an opportunity to represent something really positive. I still want to protect my personal life, but I don't want to seem like I'm protecting the idea. So that does sort of feel like I owe something to people." That relationship lasted until 2016 when Stewart started dating model Stella Maxwell. However, they broke up two years later with a source hinting that being long distance made the relationship difficult. In 2019, Stewart got a new girlfriend, screenwriter Dylan Meyer, and it sounds like the two are in it for the long haul. Are you in love right now? Yeah. You are? Like, like, yeah. I mean, the answer is yes. Will you propose? Absolutely. Meyer wrote about the relationship on Instagram the following April, posting, It's my absolute favorite person's birthday, and I'm wishing everyone the volume of beautiful feeling I feel toward her. It's a short ride on this earth. Spend your time with someone that inspires you to be the best version of yourself and lights your on fire. In 2014, TMZ reported that Orange is the new black writer Lauren Morelli filed for divorce from her husband of two years after realizing she was a lesbian. She explained how her experience on the show impacted her, saying, I found a mouthpiece for my own desires and a glimmer of what my future could look like. Two years later, Morelli was engaged to one of the series' stars, Samira Wiley, with the actress telling Bust, I was really attracted to Lauren's mind first, before I met Lauren the person. I remember those first months with her, trying to figure out her journey with her own sexuality, feeling like she picked me as the person she was going to talk to about all of it. Meanwhile, Morelli said to Vulture, I hadn't known myself before I had sex with a woman. Samira is the person I had sex with, and she made me see myself in a way that I just haven't before. At the 2019 Tony Awards, Wiley admitted to Us Weekly that they aren't able to spend as much time together as they'd like due to their work schedules. So what's their routine when they can? We just sit down and talk and maybe watch a documentary or something like that. Ah, relationship goals. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.